one thing that Vanguard is known for is called an index fund. An index fund actually takes all of the stocks in a particular category and invests in all of them. So when you hear the Dow Jones went up today by 500 points, the Dow Jones is a grouping of stocks, a grouping of companies, and an index fund would invest in all of those companies at one time and create a mutual fund based off of that index. So that's proven index investing, which Vanguard is known for, has proven to be a very popular tool for people to get good return in the stock market over time without having to pick individual stocks. Because you could pick a stock and it could do great, or you could pick a stock and it could do terrible, because you don't know. So index investing by Vanguard is a great tool to, to invest in the whole stock market or whole groupings of stocks. Uh, one fund that I invest in through Vanguard, the symbol is called VTI, VTI, and that is investing in everything. So it takes all of the stocks in the United States, all the stocks around the world, and puts them into one fund. And you can invest in this fund called VTI. It's, it's it, Vanguard's total index. So it takes all these funds and puts them together. And, and that's why you can invest in everything at the same time. The principle to get ahead in stock investing or any other type of investing is you want to buy low and sell high. Um, most people do the opposite. When the stock market does really well and it's on the news every day saying stocks are doing great, people want to go and buy those stocks at that point because everybody wants to join on the bandwagon. This thing's going up so high, I want to be a part of it. And when it goes down, everybody wants to jump off because they think I'm going to lose all of my money. And the, the smart investors do the opposite. When, when stocks are going down is the time that they buy. Because the history of the stock market is it always has gone up. It's gone through periods of ups and downs, but today it's way higher than it was uh, 100 years ago. And the principle is, is that the stock market always goes up. It, go, it goes through seasons of ups and downs, but it always ends up. So when, when there, a situation like we're in right now and the market dropped 30%, Smart investors are looking at that and saying, wow, the stock market is discounted right now. I could invest and get a discount and it's going to go back up. And it's proven true. The stock market went down 30% and it's already gained back half of what it lost just in the last month. So it's important that you, you invest and you invest for the long term and you look for opportunities. Somebody called me the other day and said, Spirit Airlines, you should invest in them. They've gone down a whole lot. And, and most people would say, why would I invest in Spirit Airlines? They've gone down so much. But they've gone down so much that they're at a discount. So I bought Spirit Airlines at about $10 per share. I owned a piece of Spirit Airlines. Um, within a week, that $10 went up to $15 per share. So I made $5 per share off of every stock share that I had of Spirit Airlines. So using that principle, I, I bought Spirit Airlines at a discount. And, and I'm holding it for the long term because it used to be at $50 a share. Now it's at 15 Well, the expectation is it's going to go back to where it was. So it's important that you abide by these principles to create diversification in your stock portfolio. Again, your portfolio is a mixture of investments and investing in the stock market has proven to be a great tool over the last 100 years to build your financial wealth and to, to build your financial future. Remember, a good man leaves an inheritance for his children's children and investing in the stock market has proven to be a great way for people to do that over many years.